Hello and welcome to another video. Um, this one is going to be a series of videos, uh, more sort of video log rather than a tutorial of how I'm going to be going about painting Mr. Gotrex. Um, he's pretty much one of my favourite characters in Warhammer Fantasy. It's pretty chuffed that he's, he's now transitioned over to Age of Sigma. So I'm going to really enjoy painting them. The uh, model is beautiful. I'm not going to be using the 40mm scenic base because I'm, he's going to be used for gaming. And I really can't be asked magnetising it. So I'm going to uh, probably get the 32mm base and put, probably build my own little scenic thing on there. Um, because my idea is to either do a Cities of Sigma Dwarf Army with him with it. Or a Stormcast Eternal Army with him in it. More for fun than competitive or anything like that. So... It's less talking and more painting. So I'm just going to ramble while I paint. Nothing. So, you know. So this is a thin down Kidian flesh tone. As per usual, using my size zero trusty brush from Artis Opal. Because he is such a, a cool character and one of my favourites, I've got all of the books, thanks to the Goldfish of Justice who uh, squared me away with the full collection. Cheers, Stevie boy. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna paint this guy up to a really high standard. Um, so he is he is basically for gaming, but I want him to look I want him to look awesome. Because he is, he is an absolute beast. If you like what I'm doing, enjoy my ramblings, my other videos. There will be many more. You can feel free to like, subscribe, ring that bell and all of that good jazz. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook. I have a Patreon page if you want to help me out. Allow me to improve my equipment and stock up on GW Mini so I can do more tutorials. <clears throat> you can even request the type of tutorials I do if you are a Patreon backer. So, it's all there. And there will be eventually exclusive Patreon only videos it's gonna be pretty cool really looking forward to getting stuck into those i think i'm gonna do a nice non-metallic metal on the axe not too sure about the if i'm gonna go for the osl or not but it'll definitely have some non-metallics going on and then the big question is, do I go for the traditional stripey trousers? You know, the blue and white pirate striped trousers that he used to have back in the day. Uh, definitely will be doing the freehand tattoos. Basically, you're getting a solid, nice, solid coat. And then, 
going to wash it. It's only going to be about 15 minutes, guys. So I'm just going to basically do the skin. Probably stop, cut forward. There's no real set format for these. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump forward now and get him dry, and then I'll get him based, completely fully based and shaded, and then we'll get to um, the highlighting. Back in a jiffy. All right, that's me back. So I've had a couple of layers. I've, I've um, put a couple of layers of Cadian flesh tone on, and then I've shaded it with some thinned Reichland flesh shade with some medium. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just go back over, and just start building up those highlights. Yeah, so. Really love Gotrex, such a cool character, and I think you know I've got to have to, I've got to do a, a an order army because I'm currently playing Iron Jaws. Um, so I've got to. If you are watching this in the future, the Iron Jaws may have have moved on. Um, but at the moment, I'm really enjoying the Iron Jaws. I'm really surprised that um, GW actually brought Gore-Tex back, to be fair. Um, but I'm really chuffed that they did. He is such a cool guy. What I'm doing now is mixing some Kizzler Flesh into the Cadian Flesh tool. And then I'm just going to take some of this Bugman's Glow and some Cadian Flesh tool. Just make a bit of a shadow. And then just thin it down. It's almost like a glaze. And I just want to some shadows to that area. That what I use the right and flesh shade for is not so much as a shade to um, like like you normally would sort of bring definition and stuff into the model. What I use the shade for is more of a um, sort of allowing me to see where all the crevices are and where the deepest pots are so I, I can get a rough idea of where to put the shadows um, in regards to like the Uruk skin um, if you haven't checked out that uh, tutorial it's over on my patreon page um, I use the skin 
that's a sort of like, like my first layer of shadow. And the, sorry, the uh, the wash. But for this sort of flesh tone, I kind of use it as a guideline. Let's get the highlights on. As you can see, just building up these highlights in the, the back of the hands. You can, you can be quite quick and with this. And then we go for some pure kiss left. He is. This is a great sculpt. I'd love to know which um, which DW sculpt the sculpted him. Um, it's really nice. I'm really looking forward to doing the the fiery ginger beard. Anyone else who use Gortrex in your armies? How are you how are you finding him? Is he is he going really well? Let me know in the comments below what you think of him.
I want to give a big shout out to my Patreon backers. If it wasn't for them, I definitely wouldn't have this amazing little boom arm that allow me to position the camera in such a cool place. It's just so much easier to paint when the camera is not between your legs and it's on a tripod and it's it's floating above you. Let's get the last, the last little bit of highlight with flayed one flesh just to lighten that kid's left up a bit. And then we'll do a little bit more shadows. If you're not too happy with transition, just get the previous colour and just go over the top of that area. Just like that. What you want this highlight to do is basically just catch the top of the muscles and then because of the sort of readiness of the of the Bugman's glow, this will give you some really nice contrast and it should make Gortrex's muscles stand out. We're going to go back in there once we've done these highlights with a few more glazes of shadow. Just get a little bit more colour in there. Well, just nice, quick, and easy. You don't really need to worry too much about what's underneath his arm because that's going to be in some nice shadows anyway. We can glaze that down. Alright. <clears throat> so we'll get a, a last highlight on there before we, we move into 
getting some a little bit deeper shades. And this flannel highlight we want is basically just for to really be all on the edges. Just feather it out. It's more of the light sort of coming down that way. And then sort of on the top of the shoulders here. So what I'm doing every time I sort of just wipe the brush off, I'm just um, just feathering the colours out if I need to. Yeah, that's looking really nice. I'm really quite pleased with that. Just makes the the whole piece just pop. Now you can you can push that up by adding a little bit of white to the the flayed one flesh, just or some pallid witch flesh. Um, if you just want to get a little bit of a brighter highlight. Uh, but I'm quite happy with the way it, this this is this is turning out. The beauty with the paint is it's quite bright when you put it on, but obviously as it dries, it sort of just darkens down a little bit. All right, really pleased with that. I think that arm looks pretty, pretty cool. So what we're gonna do, so I guess all of our bugman's glow. Let's make a glaze. Now we're just gonna add some some deeper shadows into it.
quickly. I'm just going to add some little bit of colour uh, with some Volpus Pink contrast paint in with the Bugman's Glow and a little bit of water. Just get these glazes on. in and around his eyes as well just sort of give that the face a little bit better definition and that going to call the skin for now done okay so if you like what I'm doing uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, check me out on Facebook, the Eight Pointed Star. And um, if you like the tutorials and things, um, feel free to jump over and become a gold member. Uh, obviously, the, the the benefit for being a Patreon is you'll get access to everything early, as well as some exclusive stuff. Um, so yeah, head over there and check it out. Cheers for watching. Bye bye.